Hello everyone. In this tutorial video, we will explore aspect-oriented programming (AOP), a technique that helps us avoid duplicating code when logging execution time of methods. AOP complements traditional object-oriented programming and deals with common issues that affect multiple parts of our software. By using AOP, we can organize our code better, separate different concerns, and make our application easier to maintain. For example, imagine separating the code that handles logging from the main logic of your application. This way, you can make changes to each part independently, improving the overall maintenance of your software. Let's take a closer look at the AspectJ library, which is a powerful tool for implementing AOP in Java applications. AspectJ lets us create aspects that group Together, common functionalities found in different parts of our code. These aspects act like models that we can reuse and apply to various sections of our application. They help us organize our code in a modular way, making it easier to manage and reuse functionalities across different parts of our program. Firstly, we need to set up a project by creating a new Maven project to work with aspect j library let's choose maven project give name for example aspect tutorial for our project and click create when our project is successfully created we need to add a maven dependency for aspect j uh, let's find it in google navigate to this tutorial and here uh, we should use um, this dependency and add that to our project also uh, to incorporate aspect j into our classes uh, we will use a very helpful tool uh, called merges aspect j maven plugin this plugin waves the aspect j uh, aspects into our code by using aspect j compiler here is uh, all necessary configurations let's add this plugin to our code we should add build tag plugins and uh, here we should add uh, our plugin that we uh, copied in tutorial so let's rebuild project for our aspect we need to create custom annotation using which we will mark our methods to measure time let's create some package for that tutorial and create new annotation and we will call it measure time. Uh, also add rotation, rotation policy on time, and uh, target. And target will be method. This notation will be applied to the methods uh, that we want to measure. Also, we need to create an aspect class with the name for example uh, login aspect and uh, mark it with aspect annotation in the aspect class we need to create a method mark it with point cut annotation uh, avoid measure point cut and uh, our body will be empty for our method for this method and uh, let's add point card annotation and uh, here we should specify uh, conditions or criteria that uh, select appropriate uh, methods uh, for which our aspect will intercept so let's add this criteria it should be annotation 
and we here should put a package and the name of our annotation also uh, we should add um, when we want to call this aspect on execution of our method so it's our point cut here I made mistakes and between these two elements should be gap so uh, when we create our point cut we specify we can specify action uh, that we want to perform on intercepted methods in our case uh, we want to measure time for methods uh, quite uh, method execution measure and uh, we should say when we want call it can be before or after method execution but it will be around uh, when we call our method and uh, here we can we must uh, paste name of our method with point cut aspect j provides us with hooks called jade points that allows us uh, to access different parts of uh, intercepted method so we should add proceeding chain point chain point and uh, we will uh, create a variable on the beginning of our method execution at uh, chain point proceed and uh, a variable uh, using which we will um, finish our measurement after that uh, we need to calculate total time of method execution to be and time minus start time also we can add some output for information that our aspect was performed so we create logic for our aspect let's test our code Firstly, we should to create a simple Java class, for example, um, class for testing, test, and let's create some simple method. And mark this method with our annotation measure time. Also add the same method bus, but with uh, some sleeping. For example, simple method with sleeping. And uh, add thread sleep. One second. So after that let's create a simple test for that to create a test we need to add a change dependency to mark methods with test annotation let's rebuild uh, maven and we can create package com aspect Create the class create method mark this method with test annotation and let's call our 
uh, method defined in class for test. Simple method you will firstly call and after that call simple method with sleeping. So after that we should check if our Maven version uh, is working. Command Maven version is working. After that we can call Maven install test. And uh, after building our code, we will see our logs that we create into inside aspect. Here we see uh, first calling of our method. Method execution was zero seconds. And uh, after execution second method with uh, uh, simple uh, one second sleep we see uh, that our measurement was changed so it's working as it's all and we have learned a lot about AP and aspect J in this video we discovered how to create an aspect define custom notation and measure the execution time of methods using aspect J thank you for watching I hope you found this video helpful and informative if you enjoyed it, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel for more programming tutorials. Happy coding!